G'day. Liz Power from the Will of Australians. Most of you know probably who I am, but I'm hoping that you will assist me and yourself and the country of Australia by sharing this video, uh, and I'll explain why at the end. Uh, let me start, I hesitate to do this, but let me start off and make a, a, an outlandish statement. I believe this video will either save Australia or if we choose to do nothing, we will watch the destruction of Australia. I apologise for the, the sensational nature of that comment, but I've studied this situation now for four years. I believe I know what I'm talking about. I am absolutely petrified about this country, my fellow Australians, both of which I love, I mean, the country that I love and the people that I love, uh, and what's going to happen to us and our next and subsequent generations. Um, <clears throat> we need to come to terms with a number of facts. Now, this is not pleasant, but they are facts. Sorry, that's according to my logic. I believe that everything that we as Australians uh, were proud of and enjoyed, and most of the rest of the world were proud of and enjoyed, because we are still, or were, either one of or the most popular country in the world. We were one of or the most popular people in the world. An American friend of mine said the other day, you might have seen it on TV, for example, if you want to have a party in, the, in America, you've got to have an Aussie at your party. That's the way the world thinks about us. But we have people here in Australia that are dismantling by the day all of the things that made us Australians. I'm talking about, hope you don't mind me just reading... Um, uh, th things like Easter, for example. I see Easter advertised on television now with uh, gesture eggs. We're made to uh, feel con sub subconscious about saying Christmas and so on. Uh, we've got people wanting to change the Australian flag. We've got people wanting to change the name of Australia Day to Invasion Day. We've got other people wanting to see effing Australia burn to the ground. It's just being taken away from us by the day. There's a lot more than just that, let me tell you. But I'm sure you know what I mean. And you should have, by now, your own evaluations uh, of where this country is heading. I can assure you it is not heading into a place that you or I would like. Now, despite all the efforts of many, many people, there's new political parties opening up every day. Um, uh, despite all of that, the reality is I'm prepared to say to you today, there is only one thing that is going to save Australia. And that is for the Australian people to adopt the view that Australia is made up essentially of two things. I mean, there's probably some other aspects around it. But essentially two things, as far as this conversation is concerned today, there is the politicians over here and the rest of Australia over here. These are the people that are the architects of our nation. These are the people, which includes you and me, are the people that tell the politicians what to do and what not to do, what we want and what we don't want. That's the way our Constitution works, which is the most powerful document in our land. Nothing, I mean nothing, supersedes this document. Not judges, not juries, courts, police, politicians, prime ministers, no one. And in this Constitution, it tells us that all of these people, including you and me, tell these people what to do. That's the problem. We've been 
we're, we're not being told of our rights, but I'm telling you what your rights are now. If you don't like something, then I'm urging you to join your fellow Australians at a total cost of six bucks, hope you don't need to mortgage the house, and join your fellow Australians and learn what you need to, to learn or what you don't already know. And I'm sure that some of the things in my newsletter or Gazette is going to curl the hair on the back of your neck, I can tell you that. Once you've established what you believe is the right direction for Australia, I will be asking you some questions. All you are required to do is to tick yes, Les, I agree with that, or no, Les, I don't agree with that. You send that back to me by email, that's all you're required to do. And we, will, we can, if you will support this initiative, we can control what happens in this country from this day forward. I urge you to think about the country that we, we all strived and worked hard to create the best country on the face of the earth, uh, but more so think about what we're going to hand to the next generation, your kids, the next generation and the next generation and so on and so on. Because at this stage, with selling Australia's assets, the assets that belong to you, the Australian people, uh, teaching things like uh, a safe schools program in schools, um, uh, mass immigration. I mean, our politicians are creating a, a big Australia. I want to ask you, ask yourself the question. Be, sit down and be serious. Maybe talk to your family about it and ask yourself, what good does a big Australia do for me or for my family? I put it to you, nothing. I mean, it's all very well to talk about, you know, uh, bigger, bigger uh, numbers for employment and there'll be more income tax paid and all the rest of it. Some of those things have got some validity, but along with the income tax comes increased infrastructure costs, um, roads and bridges and so on. But it's also, it's, it's taking away the thing that made us great in the first place, the fact that we're Australians. I mean, we're bringing, last year, 250,000 people came into this country. <laughs> and if you can think of a way that we can check on who these people are, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you can think of a way that we can check properly on who these people are and whether they're going to contribute to Australia or whether they're going to uh, assimilate or whether they're going to dominate or whether they're going to do us harm, to my way of thinking, it is absolute lunacy. It is lunacy. Uh, but someone's got the idea somewhere along the line up there in Canberra uh, that they think we're doing a good job. I don't think we are, and I ask you to think about it. And again, I say to you, there's only one way that this can be solved, and that is for these people to join together, instead of being 25 million individuals, join together as a body, and we tell these people what to do. It's simple. It's not complicated. It can be done, and it can be made to work, but it's up to you to do what you can. I said I'd tell you why you need to share this video. Uh, Facebook have changed their algorithms to the point where uh, if you've got, say, for example, 100 people, this is what has been explained to me thus far, if you've got 100 people in your, or you, in your timeline and you, you share something, they've changed the amount of people uh, that are going to actually see that post. I believe it's down to be as low as seven, which is just... I mean, the reason they do it, I guess, is, which you can understand, is they want you to pay money to get your post out to the other people. We can't afford to do that at this stage, so I'm asking you, please, please, for the sake of yourself, your family, your country, please share this video to the maximum of your ability. Uh, there's no downside to that. There's only upside. I ask you, please share the video. And please think about what I've said. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Go to the website. There's a, you can respond with asking questions there. Would uh, Send me an email and I'll answer your questions as best I can. Um, I hope you'll think about what I've said because it really is that bad. And I hope you'll support the will of Australians. All the best for the moment. God bless Australia.